Now that our belt hoops are attached, we can finalize the top of the trousers by attaching the waistband. It's already attached, but we're gonna sew the lining and finish everything up neatly. The first thing we're going to have to do is prepare our zip. This is the fly of the trousers. This is the side of the waistband that's already has a nice ending to it. But on the other side, this is not finished yet. So the first thing I want you to do is see how when we attached the waistband we stopped a bit before. We're going to fix that bit. So what we're going to do is Along this facing here, where we stitched before and then we stopped here, we're going to go all the way to the edge, making sure we catch this part. And then at the end, we're going to back tack, making sure that that's nice and strong, so that the bottom of our waistband is attached all the way to the edge, like that. That's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, now that this is well attached, I want you to measure from the top, the edge of your um, waistband to where it joins this piece here, which is six centimeters for me. And then I want you to cut a rectangular piece of fabric that has the same width as your waistband, plus seam allowance. And that measurement that you just took, six centimeters for me, plus four centimeters. So in my case it's like this, same width and it should be longer than this part. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to zigzag over one of these short edges. We got a little rectangular. What I wanted to do now is the side where you applied your zigzag, I want you to fold that back two centimeters and then press that with your iron. There you go, I've pressed this now. Now when you press it, make sure to, this is the bad side of your fabric and this is the good side, okay? Because that's what will be on show later. This will be turned towards the inside. So we get two centimeters pressed this is the zigzag edge, and now we're going to attach this. Now, this is the end of your waistband. Flip it this way, open up the seam allowance. We're going to be attaching our little side, good sides together with our fold on the inside, not on the edge. And you put it in the back here and you match it. We're going to be attaching it from here where our sewing stops all the way around until the same height plus two centimeters. However, that's a little tricky, so we're going to start by basting it in place with some basting thread, hand sewing it basically, to temporarily fix it, that way when we sew it, we are sure it's going to be fine. So you start here at the edge, make sure you only catch these two layers of fabric. Make sure to go Right until the corner. And come back. Remember what I said, we're gonna go a bit further on this side. So 
So you're gonna go up to here plus two centimeters, basically up to there. There we go. This is basted in place. As you can see here, we didn't catch this fabric. You just go around all the way to here. However, we made one mistake here. This is not good because this was supposed to stay double like that. So I messed up. You know why it's good, so I can show you. Just undo these last few stitches. Then you fold this part back and you paste it in place with this double. So. Make sure you don't pull the thread too tight so it doesn't gather. Remember it's just to keep it in place. So we got a little further there, all the way to the edge of this fabric, which is where we're going to be. So now we're going to sew. We're going to start here. Make sure to attach that. Go around and stop there. Once again, make sure not to catch that fabric, only these two layers. Better to start a few millimeters from the edge instead of catching it, because we're going to have to finish it by hand anyway. Make sure you go back at the start and then just go around the interfacing. Once it's permanently attached, you can take out your basting. Make sure not to cut any other threads. There we go. And then we have a lot of seam allowance there. I'd like you to cut it a bit shorter. So you cut one layer and then you cut the second layer slightly further. That way you'll have this waterfall effect and not just one bulky thing that will stop all of a sudden because bulk is not good, bulk is something you want to avoid right now that we've got this we just need to turn it inside out that and then you want something to push at corners like this blunt pencil for example and there are, that's going to be the edge of our waistband we're going to press this down so, this is now at the end of our belt waistband looks like, as you can see, it's nice, on the inside we got some facing, and here this will have to finish by hand, however, we'll do that later on, because we first want to get this lining attached. So this will be folded back and sewn there. So I'm gonna look great.